Tom, Angela, and I forget your kid's name. I think it's Karen and uh, Karen and James. Anyway, uh, this is Lake Wapagasset. This is the walkout basement. So I start with this view because if you don't love this, you're gonna not like anything else. Fire pit right there. That's our neighbors and that's our old cabin we sold two years ago. Downside basement, which I think is pretty great. Walking through the basement door. This is the downstairs basement that Rich and I really like, and he's nice enough to let me, sorry, the bed's not made, but it's a, maybe it's a queen bed, I don't even know. Electricity, ceiling fan, nice little window, not great. It's all concrete floor, keeps it nice and cool. There's a vagrant that keeps, you know, Ricola. Here's a little mini kitchen, full fridge, sink, you know, coffee. That's Native American art. We know you love TV, couch if you want to sleep on it. Now here's another weird bedroom. Uh, we have not put in a window yet. So if that feels dangerous in some kind of way, but Full bed, you know. I don't know if the kids want to sleep down here or up there. Da -da -da. Cheesy 70s furniture. Sorry, Tom, maybe it's still at your parents. Sink. Full bath. But not well appointed like a hotel might be. Now we go up the stairs to what is essentially the, uh, and I'll kind of try to keep an eye on time here, but you know, cinder block, we try to, you know, get a little cool, but the basement's awesome because it's, there's no air conditioning. So when it's hot, it's hot right now. Going out to the garage, drive through garage. There's super sexy Scotty, mocha dog friendly. Yeah, Winnie, what did I say? Winnie. That's where you'll drive in from and park. So then you, this is the main floor. So you come in here. Laundry room, you do laundry. Here's the mass, well, whatever you want to call it, the master bedroom. This is probably the best finished queen bathroom. And, sorry, professional photography here. Full sink, full bathroom, and artwork by Douglas. You're welcome, Anise. Try to beat it if you can. Here's the kitchen, full kitchen, stove, microwave, dishwasher. Again, nothing's clean, I'm sorry. Uh, but really unfinished, so it's not, uh, you know, it's a work in progress for us. It's either a really great cabin or a really crappy hotel. This is the big room, main room, whatever you call it. TV, kids, I know you don't, you might not know what that is. Here's another view of the lake. Uh, da, da, da. Some people think this is like a treehouse effect. Big wrapper on porch with a uh, gas uh, grill. And then up the stairs. And again, welcome to the lake. Lots of natural light, lots of, man, if we ever get around to finishing it, ceiling fans almost everywhere. Do -do -do. Natural light, no drapes. Sorry. Scotty's room, which he kind of, he's here so much, I probably wouldn't I think you want to stay there. And here's kind of the, an, again, a fun room. What we've learned is most people don't want to stay overnight. So we put in effort. Debbie is starting to decorate and paint. So I see you guys on the basement level and walkout level and the main level. 
two bedrooms for the kids down in the basement. Parents downstairs, I don't think you need this or would use it. If Beamer and Christina show up, we'll try to trick out one of the rooms, but there you go.